I thought our offensive line played well. Uh, I think they came in. They had a great week of practice. I think their confidence is building. Uh, and I thought they created some good gaps for our runners. And I thought our runners ran hard the entire day. They finished, all three of them finished uh, really, really well in the run game. And uh, in order for us to be successful, that's going to have to be how we do it uh, moving forward. And uh, I'm happy for those guys. They played hard. They played well. How big was that 36 yard to Gabe to you know, let him know, hey, we, we can come over top. Y'all better not come up in the run. Yeah, I thought it was a, a good jump start for us, um, you know, to try and get a double move, uh, you know, kind of show them something and get behind them. We had another chance and missed with Tajay, um, you know, which could have been a big play too. But uh, I thought Art called a great game, you know, of, of taking our chances down the field, uh, running the football. He had some great calls on third downs to extend drives. Uh, and that's what we need to do. You know, we've, when we get chances where we have single, uh, safety coverage and one-on-one -on -one chances. When we get those, you know, it, it's great to take shots like that. On the last drive, you were able to hit Kyle and you were able to pick up that uh, good yards there to, to you know, run the clock out. Uh, you all have been able to do that a couple times this year. Was that a step in the uh, right direction for you all? Yeah, I think so. You know, obviously, when you have a lead and you have the ball, you want to end the game with the ball in your hands. And um, we had two chances to do it. And uh, I think ultimately, you know, if we want to be the best football team that we can be, we've got to take advantage of that first opportunity. But uh, again, you know, we had that second opportunity, and uh, I thought that was another great call by Art to get Kyle coming backside, put him in space. I also thought a really heads up play by Kyle, too. You know, get vertical and then cut that thing back inside, get what he could get, protect the football, and keep the clock running. Yeah, I think there's definitely confidence building for those guys. I think it's continuing to work at the same small little details, you know, that I think those guys are getting better at. And um, the, the thing I love about those guys is, is they've stayed the course, you know, where it hasn't been pretty or perfect, you know, the entire year. They've stayed the course. They've continued to work hard. Uh, they've had great attitudes, you know, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday on the practice field, pushing themselves to get better. Uh, not getting bored with the same old, same old working, you know, combination blocks. And I think we're starting to see it improve and uh, we're going to need it, you know, as, as we come down the last four, uh, four games of the regular season. I thought the guy hit me right in the face. Uh, let him know that. <laughs> that was, that was, uh, it's hard. Trust me. I, I get those guys are in a tough spot to see everything, and I understand that. Um, you know, but I also think you can, in the right way, lobby for for your calls too. And um, you know, that's that's all. I was trying to be respectful, but trying to let them know. I thought I thought that was penalty. Well, I think it's huge, you know, turnovers, short fields that they've created, um, you know, are, are huge for offenses. And I think where we can take our next step is making sure that we, you know, convert on all of those opportunities that we get. But uh, it's, it's definitely encouraging to see from those guys stepping up, making plays, um, creating those turnovers, getting fourth down stops, you know, and all those type of things. Turnover on downs are huge. And, and um, you know, I thought they played very well today. Uh, I've got an understanding of where you know where we're at. Uh, I don't think you obsess over it. You know, you have to you have to focus on you know taking care of your own business and finding ways to win. You know, week in and week out. But you know, we understand where we're at uh, this time of the year. Do you feel like it's going to take an extended winning streak or something like that? Like, how do you look at the next set of games? Well, I, I, you know, uh, you make the big things little. 
and uh, you know don't overwhelm yourself with what we have to do for the next four games. You know you worry about what we have to do in this next football game, and um, you know each week is a new challenge. Each week is a different challenge, um, and and what's going to be required from us is is different every week. And so uh, we've got ourselves in a position, you know where. We're still in the mix, and uh, that's all you can ask for this time of the year. You want to be, you know, in competitive games that mean something, and uh, certainly next week is is that for us. Your success on the road with what's going on at home. I know you're trying to win every game. How do you account for being so successful away from home? I don't know. You know, uh, if we knew, we, you know, we'd solve that issue. But um, I'm not. I'm. I'm not sure. Uh, I guess luckily enough, we're on the road next week, so maybe that's a good thing for us. But um, you know, we've got to find a way, whether it's home or on the road, to play our best football and play consistently. And for whatever reason, we've done a better job of that on the road this year. No, I think I think that comes with experience. I think that. Um, you know, every year is different too. Uh, and I was really fortunate, you know, early in my career, we were in the driver's seat a lot. And so, um, you know, maybe on the other end of it, learning that if you obsess over where you're at, you know, from that, you know, leading the division or leading, it takes away from focusing on winning the next game too. And so I think I've learned, you know, as, as I've gone along in my career from all kinds of different situations that I've been in, that it really doesn't you know, do you any good to focus on anything further than the one opponent you're playing that week? And it's easier said than done. You know, um, you, you have to remind guys all the time, we can't look too far ahead. You know, you have to have this, you know, narrow focus. And I keep going back to, you know, you know, you got to make the big things little. You know, you got to keep things really simple. And um, I know I'm not smart enough or have the wherewithal to handle, you know, too much. It's just about small focus and, um, you know, I think if we do that, we'll be okay. So if you start seeing guys talk about tiebreakers, you know, like you like, no, like, It doesn't make a difference. You know, we can only we can only handle you know what what's in front of us. We can't change anything that's happened up until this point. And so, um, again, you know, it's all for naught. None of it matters if you don't win games. And uh, you know, we just have to hammer out wins as as we keep moving forward. No, I think there's, I mean, listen, we played well enough to win today. I think we can play better than we did. You know, there, there are areas that we can improve. And uh, that's always the case, win or loss. But, you know, I still think there's more consistency for us. I still think our, our best football, you know, is, is still in front of us. And uh, we're working to get there. Well, I think it, it's probably different every week, but it's not turning the football over. It's being opportunistic with short field opportunities. It's making sure we score when we have turnovers, uh, you know, taking advantage of, of the opportunities that we have in front of us. And, um, you know, I look at today, I think there were two or three opportunities we could have done better. Uh, it's good enough to win, and you don't apologize for winning. There's, there's no doubt about that. But uh, we gotta, you know, we, we've got to focus on improvement, daily improvement, and trying to be better than we were this week when we go out to San Francisco next week. Right, does the, the improvement in the running game give you more confidence in terms of where the offense is going? Because you're going at games where you're going passing, and now you've got games where you're going run dominating and run I think we're improving. You know, I, I think, you know, the belief level of how we are as an offense and what we're being asked to do, I think there's been improvement in that. I think we've gotten better. Um, I think my confidence is there every week. You know, I, I really do believe that regardless of how a game shake out, you've got to find a way to win, whether that's running the football, throwing it, whatever it is. Um, you, you've got to find a way to get the job done. But I do think you know, the confidence across the board for our offensive line, the way that they've worked, the way that we're running the football the last couple of weeks, uh, they should be proud of what they're doing. I got to look at it, but uh, who cares? <laughs> he was open, uh, you know, and so we'll take a look at, at what happened. But uh, you don't ask questions when a guy's wide open. You just get it to him and, and move on. You 
Yeah, I just got to get further down the field. And, um, you know, just we, we just didn't connect on it. And so um, I got to give him a better chance to, to make a play on the football. Anything else, guys? All right. All right. Thank you.